Each cow comes to the robot just shy of three times a day, so it'll see about 170 or 80 milkings a day. My name is Dale Heminger, and I'm the primary owner and uh, head coach of Hemdale Farms and Greenhouses. So they come in on their own, it IDs them, the size is going to milk them, and then the robot with the laser attaches the four milk cups. The milk gets harvested, she goes back to her life here in our barn. The local labor force no longer wanted to do these types of jobs. Work that was in colder weather like this, uh, working around larger animals. My name's John Wolf. My family owns Maple Lawn Farms here in Lyons, New York. One cow and a robot, and then one to two standing outside waiting to get in. The robots have been a good deal for us. They have greatly alleviated the labor uncertainty. We had five employees that were Hispanic, and we had this concern over what would happen to us if, for some reason, we lost our Hispanic workforce. And at that point, we weren't going to be able to take care of the animals. Well, this is a, uh, the X-Link that shows the uh, operation of the robot. The robot is very high-tech. If one of the robots has a problem, it calls that cell phone. And there's someone on the farm 24 hours a day and actually speaks to them in whatever language they are, and uh, they'll come and fix it. What the robotic milkers did is it made it so I needed less people. I was in a situation and had a relationship with my, with my community bank to put, stick, put my neck out and spend over $2 million putting all these robots in. They're coming over to visit you now. The, oh. the average dairy farmer may not be in that position yet. It's not going to happen tomorrow or in three years. And we as an industry, both with dairy and crops and fruits, have to have this labor force or we're not going to be here producing these these commodities in the United States. Can you tell them all apart? They have personalities. The reality of the fact is the majority of the things that require hand labor of any sort in agriculture are being done by Hispanic. If those workers all of a sudden weren't here um, you'd be surprised how many things would cease to happen. Immigration is still a concern of ours, but it's not as close to the frontal list of concerns as it was before. This is cow 2539. Because of the fact that, you know, we, we have uh, the, the robots in the barn, and, and I have yet to have INS question the green card of the robot.